Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're looking at the evolution of William Jack Poulter. William Poulter made his acting debut in 2007, when he first starred in Son of Rambo, where he played as Lee Carter. I don't mind taking the blame for this if you like. But uh, if I do, you uh, might have to give me something in return. Fair enough. I always fancy to watch. William also starred in the 2010 movie titled The Chronicles of Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, where he played as Eustace Scrub. Don't you ever knock. It's my house. I do as I please. You're just guests. <clears throat> that giant rat thing just tried to claw my face off! I was merely trying to expel the water from your lungs, sir. It's all... Did you see... Did anyone just hear that? He just talked! He always talks. In 2012, William Poulter acted as Dean in the movie titled Wild Bill. Fags, where'd you get fags from? Swap to them. For what? Trainers. I've told you, no nicking. Not nicking, swapping. What do you know about it, eh? What do you know about anything? No, I'm just saying. Uh, you're all done. Because we're not interested in what you have to say. William also starred in the 2013 film titled Where the Millers, where he played as Kenny Rossmore, who was also known as Kenny Miller. So I heard you and Mrs. O'Reilly fighting. It's called flirting, Kenny. You'll learn about it in college. Then you're gonna suck a stick and we're gonna get out of here. Okay, bring it in. On three. What? No! What do you mean, no? What's wrong? Well, I'm not gay. Are you sure? I mean, you never really know until you know. No, I'm not gay. Okay, all right, calm down. William starred as 40 in the movie titled Plastic, which was released in 2014. Well, how am I supposed to know if they're going to fit? Well, you can look at the label or buy them. Either one, I'm not bothered. How much for the iPod, dog? There are hundreds. They were here when we got back. They came out of nowhere. Sorry. What the fuck did you guys do? Nothing you haven't done a hundred times yourself. I kind of doubt that. Poulter was also featured in The Maze Runner, which was released in 2014, where he played as Galley. First Ben gets stung in broad daylight. And then Albie. And now our greenie here is taking it upon himself to go into the maze which is a clear violation of our rules here. In the same year 2014, William Poulter played as Shane in the Irish movie, Glassland. We just came in here to rent a fucking DVD. A fucking night okay, entertainment. Okay, lads. No, everything's not okay, Minnie. He won't pay us fine. How much? 40 cents. Hey, go easy on the AIDS, man, all right? Yeah, try me best. Ah, you should have come, man. William acted in the 2015 film The Revenant, where he played as Jim Bridger. The movie itself described Hugh Glass's experiences in 1823, and it was based on the 1915 poem titled The Song of Hugh Glass. Tell me right now, be honest, did you say it? Put your off Did you say the read? No. Left you ass, left you, you left him out there! <laughs> say the Lord's Prayer. What? Say the Lord's Prayer! <laughs> Oh, Father, who art in heaven, I can't. Shut up. Cab, I didn't. Shut up! Poulter also acted in a British coming-of-age drama film titled Kids in Love, which was released in 2016, where he played the lead role of Jack. I like the jacket, by the way. Yeah, thanks. Which one would you be? Uh, I'd be scary. You keep saying this, I, I'm, I'm not sure why Brazilian women are so great. I mean, how many Brazilian women do you know? Not a lot, that's the whole point. Well, so how do you know they're going to be great? I don't understand why you're even asking that question. Why, wh why do you think they won't be? In 2017, Poulter was featured in War Machine, where he played as Sergeant Rick. Where are you coming from? Uh, where are we from, the States, or where have we just been? Where have you just been? Uh, Italy, sir. On R&R. R&R &R. Uh, in Italy. Yes, sir. Well... I need to see a weapon! He isn't a combatant until I see a weapon! Fuck, man! Do you think this nigga on his morning jaw? All right, all right. We're gonna head to that house over there at 2 o'clock. All right, we're gonna work this shit out. In the same year, 2017, William also starred in Detroit, where he played as Philip Cross. You made a mistake. You say what you need to say, and you move on. That's how you get out of this thing. Well, some things were said in there. So, some th such as? William retained his role as Galley in Maze Runner The Death Cure which was released in 2018 and is the third installment in the Maze Runner film series. Stop! Kill Chuck. Yeah, I know. I know. 
I remember. I was there too, all right? And I also remember that he was stung and half out of his mind. Kind of had that coming. Anybody else? Fry? Newt? Do you know this guy? He was an old friend. Poulter also starred in The Little Stranger, which was released in 2018, where he played as Roderick Ayres. So, you work and sleep in here then? Yes, when I first came home, I couldn't be doing the stairs. I actually prefer it now. It helps me keep on top of things, you know. This is my house, and I'll do as I like with the damn place! And it isn't any business of yours! What are you doing here? William also acted as Colin Rittman in a 2018 standalone interactive film titled Black Mirror Bandersnatch. What's this, Kajagoogoo? <laughs> you wish. State of him. He's made enough this year to buy a Lamborghini and he still smokes roll-ups. Yeah, well, pre-rolled has strychnine in him, so the joke's on him. Okay, he, he's Pax, he's the demon, he, he's in the book. So we've actually arrived at a choice point and, and you can choose with the joystick. You've got 10 seconds. Worship him. William featured as Mark in a horror film titled Midsummer, which had its release in 2019. Okay, well then you can bitch to us about how much you regret it for that day, and then we'll remind you again that you've been wanting out of this stupid relationship for like a year now, and then you can find a chick who actually likes sex and doesn't drag mm -hmm. you through a million hoops every okay, day. Do, do, do you think that there is a masochistic part of you that is playing out this particular drama to avoid the work you actually need to be doing? See? You could be getting that girl pregnant right now. And don't forget about all the Swedish women you can impregnate in June. Okay, guys. Don't forget about mm -hmm. all the Swedish milkmaids. William featured in the 2021 series titled The Underground Railroad, where he played as Sam in the episode titled South Carolina. There's a train coming. It leaves tomorrow evening. Sam, when is the train coming? Oh, soon. I mean, there'll, there'll be a train by soon, I'm sure. William also featured in the 2021 miniseries titled Dope Sick, where he played as Billy Cutler. Gucci suit. It's very, uh, stylish. While being, you know, work environment appropriate. Are you gay? What? Uh, no. Are you sure? Because you sound like a fag. Wow, uh, <laughs> I guess that depends what you're into. In 2021, William was also featured in a British musical film titled The Score, where he starred as Troy. What kind of name is Troy? It's classic. You mean classical? You like to tell people what they mean, don't you? Does your head move in any other direction? She's playing you, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe I like it. William acted in the 2022 miniseries titled Why Didn't They Ask Evans, where he played as Bobby Jones. What do you say, Bobby Jones? I'd lay up short of the bunker, sir. Get a good angle to the cliff. Mm. Excalibur, I think. Are you sure, sir? Not remotely. What happened here? I don't know. He must have fallen. He's dead, looks like. <sighs> Dr. Thomas has gone for help. Did you see him? No, no, not a soul. William Poulter starred as Adam Warlock in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which was formally released on May 5th, 2023. On the ground! Thanks for watching this video. Tell us your best William Poulter appearance in the comments below. Please ensure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more awesome content.